Hey guys, it's Kelly Ann and welcome to a Flossy Friday. This is going to be super quick and dirty because I'm, I'm going to go visit a friend and I just have a lot of things to do. Um, so I've got to get going. Um, so let's just talk about what came in the mail and then we'll talk about my whips for this week. So three things came in the mail, but two packages. The first one was my order from Etsy for that fabric flare fabric. Um, and so I got the little dog print fabric or paw print fabric um, for the Lizzie Kate cat and dog lesson patterns. Um, I'm really excited to be starting these. I love how the paws are not directional. It's really helpful. Um, I'll be able to get both patterns done on this one piece of fabric. Um, it is printed on one side, which I knew, but I've never used their fabric. So I've never like seen it in person, but it is printed only on one side. Um, I did think that it would be a little bit more um, off white or like a cream color with the paw prints on it based on the photos, but I'm okay with this. All the colors that I pulled for it work with this. Um, so I'm looking forward to eventually starting that. I did go ahead and kit it up. Also, um, this last week I've done several IG lives. I think I did like two or three of them and I kitted up about 10 to uh, at least 10 things. I kitted up a lot of things. Um, so if you would like to see a video, um, or like for me to include it in next week's video, all the things that I kitted up. Um, and what colors I picked and things like that. Let me know in the comments um, if you want to see all that or do you want to just be surprised whenever I start start them. Um, okay, so the next one that I got was this one. So this is for my Hands on Design Scary Apothecary. Um, I'm doing it in DMC, but I am going to get the Krynix. So... Um, and my, my color palette is maybe, a, I don't know, it's on the brighter side, but I did check out all the colors on this fabric and they're all very visible. But I just thought this would be super cute. Again, it's fabric flare, so it's printed on one side. I should be able to get majority, if not the entire series, um, done on this piece of fabric. Um, it just kind of depends on how big they end up being. And I think I'm gonna like, crisscross them the opposite like directions um, because they have that point so I think I'm gonna flip flop them so that way um, they take up less space because the way that I want to finish this I think that would be I would be able to utilize the fabric better that way and maybe get all nine on one piece of fabric and then maybe have a little scrap left over for something else but um but yeah, so I'm really excited about this. Um, and yeah, my colors are super bright. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, the next set of three comes out next month and I haven't even started, but I really wanted to make sure that I had all the supplies and I was for the longest time debating on what fabric I wanted to do it on. And um, I just thought it'd be kind of fun to like put the bats on there. Um, just to add some creepiness and also just make them really make it really different for myself um because why not right all right so the last thing that came in this week is blackbird designs oh joyous day so i saw this in the fa the fans of blackbird designs facebook group and um as far as I know, now I don't know if this is ever going to change or if it's always only going to be able be available through Stitchville USA, but as of right now, this pattern is only available through Stitchville USA, um, and you can totally call them, uh, just Google Stitchville USA um, and call them and ask them for this pattern. It is beautiful. It's a sampler. It has the entire alphabet. Um, like floating around the house and the bird and then as well in borders um, but just it's a lot of florals I guess I could take it out of the plastic it's a lot of florals which I personally really love um, 
And I also just love the color palette. It's soft, but like classic looking, dusty rose colors. I really love this guy. He's beautiful. Um, and I really love this guy right here, just flowers. Um, there is a tiny bit of one over one, um, but you either would or wouldn't have to do it where it says, oh, joyous day and the year and some initials. You could do that you could leave it off or whatever but it is that part is one over one it is charted in 21 over dyes um i'm probably gonna do it in dmc um i don't i don't kit up many things in full over dyes and whenever i do it's like there's no more than 10 colors um and then if something if i buy something else that there's a lot of over dyes in it I will like see what I have left over of and I will start it with that um, of like similar colors and then if I need more of that color I will buy that color so that's kind of how I do that um, I do have some stuff that will be coming in this next week uh, so stay tuned for that um, all right so let's talk about whips so be inspired. I have finished all the color on page one, except for finishing up filling in this light color in the believe and the in banner, um, because that's just something that I know is going to take me a hot minute. And I wanted to move on to outlining some more. Um, but the whole rest of the top other than those two banners are complete which I think it's looking really good. I had to tweak some of the colors. As you know, I talked about that last week. Um, and I don't think you can really tell. I picked very comparable colors and I think it's looking really, like really good. Um, okay, so I'm very blessed and I don't have the frog visit me very often, but I did make a teeny tiny little mistake um, but I need to frog out this star, these two little curly cues, because in between this long line and this right, these two right here, there is another row, um, of two that go vertically. Um, so I need to fix that because it messes with one of the letters inside the banner. And then it also like moves everything it's fine. Um, I just need to, I just need to take those out. Um, and then she will be done once I get the words in and fix that. Then this, she will be done in the corner. And then all that I have left is finishing up the anchor on this side and the banner. Um, the same little flower. There's a little motif right here. And then the mermaid. So I'm coming along. I still have a little bit to go. Um, working on this just at lunch is not, um, you just, you don't get as much done. Like I do and I don't. It kind of just depends on what color I'm working on. I feel like I'm pretty productive on my lunch break with the black work because I don't have to switch a whole bunch of colors. Um, I just have to pay attention, which clearly I got a phone call or something and made that one mess up but it's fine. Like I said, the frog does not visit often, but when he does, he makes it worth it. So I'm not that mad. Um, my hope though, is that I will have a finish this weekend. I know that I'm going to be with my friend. I know I'm not going to get that much stitch time in as much as I normally would on a weekend. However, I'm hoping that I'm at a point that it goes a lot faster because I am I am almost done guys. So here it is in all of its glory. Um, it's too hard to show this on my phone screen. But here's the full thing. Um, let me fold this up a little bit neater than what it was so we can show y'all a little bit better. But I am really, really close to having this finished. So I'm working on the YOU and all three colors are in that. And then there's just a banner with the like baby pink and the maroon. So um, I'm hoping 
I'm hoping that um, in the next, uh, I, I'm hoping that I'll get to work on this some tonight and tomorrow night and then Sunday whenever I get back into town. And then the remainder of April, I'm hoping that the remainder of April after Sunday will be on Be Inspired and that I could have two finishes. But as of right now, this one is definitely getting finished in April and Be Inspired may still be a little bit of a whip um, for a little bit longer, but she's making progress and she's almost there. So, um, you know, it, it does stink a little bit that April may only get one, maybe two finishes compared to the other months. So far, I'm doing really good this year. I have 13 finishes. Um, but I chose to work on a really big piece for the entire month of April um, because I simply just couldn't put it down. Um, and May is going to kind of be the same. For May, for Mania, I am working on my Hade every single day. Um, unless I go out of town for like a weekend, like if I go visit my dad or something, I'm not going to take a Hade for like those days. Um, because that's just, it's too much for me anyways. I know some people can, but I just can't. But, um, and then my lunch breaks at work will be smaller projects. Like I really want to finish up the hands-on design a year of celebrations. All I have is September, October, November, and December left. And September is kitted. So it should only really take a few days if I'm like pretty diligent. Um, for each one, I think like, well, I worked on those on the weekends, but if I give, if I gave them a weekend, I can finish them in two days. I think the most I can finish them at work on lunch break is like three to four days. So I'm hoping to get the rest of that finished and maybe start my summer ABCs. Um, and then in June, I'm going to definitely be starting quilting B. I definitely want to finish my summer ABCs piece. Um, I'll work on a couple other things to try and get a few older ones finished. I may even do another purge because there are a few that I've just been thinking about lately and I'm like, do I really actually want to finish this? Um, and there's not many like that, but there's a few that I've been thinking about just getting rid of. Um, and I kitted up a whole bunch of stuff. So again, let me know if you want to see that. Um, but there's just, there's stuff that I want to finish and there's stuff that I want to start and there's stuff that I just don't want anymore. So, um, in the next couple of weeks, we can kind of hash out all of that. But, um, I know this video was super quick and dirty, but I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Um, I couldn't not make this video. I am going to stitch niche tomorrow and, um, I have some colors that I want to pick up for some things that I want to start and I need a couple of overdides, um, for it. I also am going to, if they have, there's a few patterns on my radar and if they have them, I might pick those up and then, um, I'm going to take a look at the Krynix for the scary apothecary. So, um, Anyways, stay tuned for all of that next week and let me know what y'all are working on this weekend and I hope that y'all have a fantastic weekend no matter what y'all are doing and a great stitchy week and I will see y'all next time. Bye guys.